Hello friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today it's a story about my transformation and I've got here Sam, my lovely wife. Hi! So Sam here witnessed entire transformation, she witnessed my struggles, she witnessed what I was going through and while I'm kind of, we'll tell you the whole story, I would like the second perspective uh, because everyone can relate to different situations and there's a two opinions how transformation happened and what it looked like um, on other person's eyes so before I start can you please ask you to click like subscribe and share with all your friends and maybe family members that maybe struggle to go to go through the same transformation as I did just mind you it took me more than 10 years to discover what works what doesn't work where I was going wrong and discover what works for me remind you today I'm at happiest place I, I find my uh, uh, ultimate diet I find my ultimate exercise I find my ultimate lifestyle and I believe I'm at happiest at my 44 years of age oh. yeah <laughs> now that's that's a really good outcome especially when struggle was real and um, I believe everyone going through something like that many people strong enough to voice many people um, strong enough to uh, share feelings with others others keeping them to themselves and hopefully this video will inspire uh, some of me or many of you to try something different uh, relating to what I was going through let's start from beginning I'm not always was that bad as a kid uh, my parents took care of me pretty well and they pushed me into sports and my main sport was swimming I was one of the best swimmers in my city mind you my city was two and a half million of people uh, it's a like Kiev Ukraine and I was first in my city in my age uh, up to age of 14 where I start um, going through my puberty discovered motorcycles bad boys and as you do. yes you do <laughs> and this is where things start going kind of wrong so I was at my fittest before today when I was at age 14 maybe 15 so what happened then um, I finished my uh, school by the way I was school dropout good for me um, and my mom insisted on finishing school and going to the college so I went to the college and uh, as I wouldn't know any better I was eating cheapest most available food oh, yeah um, most available food on the market for a big then and I started gaining weight but you know as being a young person with pretty good uh, metabolism nothing bothered me a couple of kilos here a couple of kilos there I'm not competing in swimming anymore who would care I finished my college and got pretty good job I started working for Hewlett Packard and job was very respected uh, I was paid quite good money and as a result of that I could indulge in food that I believe was the tastiest for me and that point in time um, our country that was in back then was introduced to Western diet and um, Hungry Jacks or Burger King in Europe was uh, the biggest thing so most of my breakfast lunch and dinners were at Burger King I was double sizing triple sizing I was eating as much as I could because I really enjoy it and this is where my weight started creeping to 90s and approaching hundreds mind you I'm not that tall and back then I believe I lost all my muscle and um, wasn't good at all um, after Hewlett Packard I, I realized that I need more education in my life and started uh, my uh, university degree actually a couple of my uni university degrees today I hold a bachelor degree and master's degree uh, and it took me a good seven years of my life to finish all my higher education where I was indulging and in food that is available to students uh, if you think that uh, what students eat they don't have time for nutrition they don't have any thought about nutrition it is important um, even eat when you um, learn so you don't even notice what you eat anyway food food wasn't priority of my life back then and um, I, I was tired I was tired all the time I could not sleep and it's the first time as a young person I noticed that something is not quite right 
When I finished my uh, university degree, I started my first job in Australia. As you can hear, I've got accent. I migrated to Australia 17 years ago and I started my first serious job in corporate environment. Um, and as we all do in corporate environment, we work hard and we play hard. We socialize, we go out, you know, we've got Friday nights. And I was eating what my peer, peers were eating. Uh, you know, pub food, restaurant food. Um, I was drinking a lot of alcohol. It's a social norm, you know, it's, it's pretty acceptable. And I was going through another transformation when I breached my 100 kilograms mark. I'm not sure what it is in pounds for those who are watching us in America, but we can uh, easily use calculators and, 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 and translate all of that. And I reached my uh, tipping point. What was my tipping point? It's actually a funny story today, but I'm glad it happened. Uh, my parents live in Germany and uh, I was um, going to visit them one of the years. And mom is good cooking. Yeah, my mom is good <laughs> cooking as well. It doesn't really help. Uh, and I was transitioning through Singapore airport and one of the best airports in the world. And um, when I was walking, one of my laces got undone. And I bent down to tie my lace, laces and I couldn't reach them. My tummy was folding and I could not re reach my laces. So I had to sit down and actually bend to tie laces. It was the most disgusting feeling I ever experienced in my life to do with my body self-awareness. And I, uh, I decided when I come back um, from the European trip, I will do something about... Uh, um, about my lifestyle and diet. By the way, the picture in thumbnail uh, is a picture of a uh, true uh, representation of me at that point in time. I'm not sure if it's visible here. So this is uh, me at that point of time uh, when an orange shirt, so I was 103 kilos and that's me now or basically three, four years ago. Um, yes, there's no much hair in me and I use uh, laser removal. If someone interested in that part of this video, I put link down below product that I used, but this video is not about laser removal. That This video is about how I got to the point when I start truly not liking myself as a person. Um, I always consider myself as a disciplined person. I always consider myself as a knowledgeable person. I always consider myself being in charge of my own body and mind. Slowly but surely, I was losing that grip of being in control of my mind and body. So when I returned from um, European trip, uh, I went to my general practitioner, doctor that we usually go to to ask what's 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 wrong with us. And doctor said, "Look, I cannot do anything without blood test." Fair call. Let's do blood test. So blood test came uh, came back, and um, he said, "Look, Greg, you got very high cholesterol." And very high blood sugar. Surprise! Of course, with all the diet and alcohol and drunk, mm -hmm. it wasn't much surprise. But when doctor tells you that you need to do something about it, it's serious, right? Mm, maybe. So doctor say, you know, there's a medication for high cholesterol and there's a medication for high glucose in the blood. Do you want to start medication uh, course? And I say, well, let me think about this, right? It's serious. That medication is for life. And I was back then. Um, what, um, 30 years old? I'm not even half through my life, probably quarter of the way through my life. I'm already on serious medication. I, I, I could not accept that. So I say, look, definitely something wrong with my diet. I'll talk to the dietitian. So I went to the dietitian and say, look, that's what's going on. The dietitian say, oh yeah, look, of course you ate all that stuff. Um, a result of your poor diet, it's what you've got. And I say, okay, so what should I change? They analyze what I'm eating and say, do you realize you eat high fat food? You need to eat low fat food. You need to eat more vegetables. You should be good with your diet. I say, yeah, all right. Yeah, the good old food pyramid. Yeah, <laughs> the, and I'll come back to food pyramid and same as right. I mean, what you see is not what you get. Just mind you that people put food guidelines in front of us. Those are not dietitians. Those are politicians and policy makers. And that's a different story that I will tell later. But this is not where my journey ended. I wouldn't give up easily. I'm a disciplined person. I'm, I'm a sportsman. So what I did next is, um, like everyone else, you know, 
Let's say we overweight, we're going to the gym. I signed up. I signed up. I bought the best gear I could buy. I bought fitness tracker. I've got biggest uh, uh, joggers. I've got um, uh, everything that you know I could afford. And I had all that gear and went to the gym and start going hard at exercise. Mind you, you know, and my in my past life I was sportsman. I knew exactly what to do. I know I knew how to exercise. So I was exercising hard. I was doing day after day going at it until I got injured. I got injured, it hurt me, and I couldn't go to gym anymore. So here you go, vicious cycle. I'm not sure how many of you uh, going through the same cycle, but here you go. You talk to your doctor. Those are top professionals on our list when we having trouble with our body composition, with our mindset, with our general feelings of well-being. Your doctor, your dietitian, and then you go into uh, uh, gym exercise because you can self take care. So what 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 happened then? I, I, I got that common belief that if you eat low fat, if you eat high fiber cereals, because fiber is good for us, right? Everyone says you eat more fiber. So start buying high fiber cereals, cereals and I start drinking very nutritious uh, drinks, smoothies, a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables. You blend them and you got a very delicious drink. Drinking more, it, it was pleasure, right? So. Uh, by doing that, I made no progress. If anything, I actually was keep piling on weight. So here you go, me after doctors, after dietitians, after uh, uh, gym exercise, I still keep putting on weight. So what happened then? I tried harder. You know, maybe people say, look, you you just started your journey. Um, you're not trying hard enough. So I try harder. And look, I got injured again and. That was point when I almost gave up on myself. It's it. People that know me, they probably would not believe that I would ever give up on myself because I'm a person that determined. I've got very um, quite good willpower, right? And I tried something really different. I started understanding as my side hobby, latest university researches. Uh, people that uh, written PhD on human bodies, on vitamins, on minerals, on infectious diseases, on uh, some latest metabolic studies. I, I, I try to understand how body works, why it's happening to me. All right, so here we go. Here I am today. Um, I'm literally 25 kilos lighter. I feel good. Christ, yeah. Yeah. Um, I enjoy my food that I found good for me and I actually enjoy eating it. I'm not on a diet. If people asking me what diet I'm following, I'm not on a diet. I do practice ketogenic lifestyle, but there's a different story. I may create a separate video about this. This is not how you achieve your goal, right? So I enjoy my food. Actually, I enjoy eating and not eating food. Um, I probably will post another video about intermittent fasting. Uh, I would like to just quickly point people that tell me that fasting is equal starving uh, big correction starving it's when you're always hungry if you fasting right you are actually not hungry yes it will be point like after two three four days when you become hungry and you need some food right but if you eating junk food you may be hungry two three hours after you eating big meal I don't have hunger even if I don't eat whole day. So it's a different totally subject about it. So I do enjoy my food. I do enjoy exercise in a, in a, in a gym. And I do exercise for totally different reason. Exercise gives me... Every time I exercise, there's a lot of hormonal changes on the body. And everyone probably knows hormone is endorphin. Endorphin is a better version of dopamine. It's a good feel hormone that basically steady that makes you feel good for a long period of time. So I'm going to gym uh, to feel good, to actually have the body that I believe I can enjoy. Yes, I'm not going to gym to um, uh, exercise to get big muscle. I'm not sure if I can get big muscle at age of 44, but I believe I'm looking good for what it is. 
I achieve my weight goal, I achieve my mental stability goal, I achieve my uh, lifestyle and not diet. I don't believe in diets. Lifestyle goal. Um, and the reason why I've got Sam here today, I wanted her to tell her side of the story because she is the person, poor unfortunate person, <laughs> saw me struggling through all my years. I mind you, it sounds like easy story, but struggle was real. You know, when you start hating yourself uh, for things that you mm. believe you, you had control over and you realize you lost control and you're weak enough to, to change anything or you just don't know where to start, that's really the biggest point of frustration. So she's a poor thing, saw me trying this and trying that and talking to professionals and not getting anywhere and she will tell her side of the story and then we'll basically wrap it up and what we do and how we can help you. Thanks, Gaggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it, you know, when you are within a relationship, you kind of are in it together and you kind of, yeah, get to experience what they're going through. Um, you know, we're not too far apart in age and I thought, oh, you know, we just eat a little bit better or eat less, uh, you know, portion control our food. And that seemed to kind of work for me. I guess I was really lucky in a way that um, you know, and my metabolism was nice and fast, um, so it never really was a, a, a bit of a problem for me. Um, but I saw you know Greg struggle, thinking like he's working so much harder than me, and he's you know struggling with the high cholesterol readings and you know struggling to keep the um, sort of mid midsection weight off, and yeah, to remain sort of energized and happy throughout the day. Um, because, yeah, we definitely did indulge when we were young. You know, we used to love going out to eat, go go to the pub, um, you know, meet up with friends, travel as much as, you know, we could and eat as much as the, the international cuisine. That, Pleasures of life, Oh, right? my God, it was a pleasure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yeah, and, you know, it probably hit me a bit later um, that, okay, the weight sort of started to creep on. So I thought, okay, you know, Greg, we're in this together. Let's, you know, try some things together. You know, we did the whole thing, the low fat. Um, that was pretty easy. You know, the food pyramid we're talking about. You know, we went to a, to the gym. Um, my experience is I thought, you know, I was going to the gym. I was doing all the classes. I was keeping up. I was not puffed out. So that was all easy. You know, the cardio was great. I thought, I'm still not really getting rid of this extra weight and, and then I thought, okay, I'll, I'll see a, a personal trainer. And, you know, Greg said, look, I can help you out. I said, no, I'm going to get a professional. What this professional did was um, basically put me in hospital. <laughs> I Yeah, he'd pushed me so hard. I told him, look, you know, I'm I'm working on this. You, know, you, you do have a, a point. But he thought, oh, no, let's, you know, push them past. You see these um, personal training shows pushing them to, to vomiting or, or pushing them to collapsing and the muscles sort of no longer working. And I thought, well, why does it have to be torture? Why, why you know, I'm a very indulgent person. I do like to enjoy things. But, you know, why do you have to torture yourself uh, to be healthy? So, yeah, we went on with portion controlling. You know, I was always hungry. Calorie counting, it was so much work. Greg had these fantastic spreadsheets and everything put together. And I thought, like, you have to check this goddamn spreadsheet before I can go and eat my lunch. An hour later, I oh, don't even bother. It's just too much, too hard. And I remember Greg um, going through the shakes. We, we did the shakes together. Protein shakes, yeah. Yeah, well, first we started off with the fruit. Then yeah. we went to our local yeah. um, fruit and grocery store. We'd come back with boxes of apples and bananas. Isn't and... It healthy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's fruit, right? <laughs> it's at that fruit goddamn pyramid. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah we, we thought we were doing the right thing. And it was sweet. It was nice. But I would get so lightheaded uh, about an hour after I'd have them and go, I'm hungry. So, yeah, that was that was yeah, not a good feeling of the lightheaded and you think something can't be right there. Hmm. Still, weight wasn't moving. We tried the juices. We bought this fantastic Breville or something or other juicer and hmm. um, you know, we did the carrots, the celery and... 
experimented with kale and you know it just Be was, beetroots and uh, all, yeah. tasted revolting yeah <laughs> and that's when we got to the hangry and the light-headed like mm. we were fighting like cat and dog so that wasn't working we thought um you know no alcohol yeah, we, we did like a, a beer or a wine. I, you know, I'm partial to a good cheese and wine. Mm. But we, we cut that out. That made a bit of a surprising difference, much to my disgust. Mm. Um, but, yeah, that, that was good. And, you know, it, it really went to show the difference between our metabolism, our bloods. I was always giving good blood results. Mm. Yet poor Greg, you know, struggled with these cholesterol readings and you know we've the things we've tried lately i i've struggled as well because i work away a lot i'm away and you're at conferences and you don't really get a choice of food it's either no food or mm. sandwiches or wraps so you know it was hard to sort of struggle balancing work motherhood and health mm. so yeah so hopefully greg can give you something different you know not every it's not like a glove it doesn't fit everyone there's always a good solution. It's just one thing that works for you um, that may not work for anyone else. So, yeah, hopefully Greg can help you with your journey because it's it's different for everyone, yeah. totally different for everyone and a journey that works for you. Yeah. So what happens here? We don't take any, I don't believe in diets. I don't believe, that there's a separate video I'll put down below link, um, uh, the title, trust me, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I won't give any medical advice on this channel. Uh, what I do, I'm just a guy on the internet that love for side hobby reading medical researches and um, find how body works. So what I'm trying to do is actually, instead of you struggling with separate issues that seem to be straightforward, actually improving your lifestyle through small changes that you understand how your body works and tailor your personal approach to help yourself in your own struggle everyone got different struggles you know I, I saw people in my life that lost like me 30 kilos but they killed their metabolism in the process so that's not a way to lose kilos weight is not everything i know someone in my life who's 105 kilos and got seven percent body fat they fit as there's no one in, in my life uh, uh, fit as them so you can clearly see that weight doesn't mean overweight and diet losing weight doesn't mean health like sam was saying sam was always uh, on the skinny side it doesn't mean that when you're skinny you feel good mm. doesn't mean that you've got energy doesn't mean that you sleep well doesn't mean that you're interacting with people well life it's more um it's more than just you know weight loss and and the whole purpose of this channel and every single video that i will record from now on is to help every single individuals with their own struggles in a, in a sensible journey that does not require specific medication specific diet specific struggle life should not be about struggle life should be about understanding and helping yourself in your own journey if you like this video if you like any other videos in my channel please uh, like share with your friends and family hit that bell button to subscribe so you to, to get notifications so you won't miss any future videos on my channel and please in the comments down below uh, tell me what do you want to know what you struggle with and if you're interested uh, we will probably find time at either together or separate do some um, a live broadcast um, to interact with people from all around the world Look, we are in Australia. We've got a different time zone. Our time zone is Greenwich time zone plus ten, right? But we we try to uh, we try to accommodate to majority of people that are interested in the content. So let me know what you're interested in. Let me know if you like it or what you didn't like, and we try to help you out with future videos. Thank you so much for watching, Greg and Sam from Brisbane. Thank you.